this video, I'll be talking about video focus map feature thoroughly and extensively using my Sony a7 IV with prime and zoom lenses. Understanding the feature, knowing and familiarizing areas formed in color blocks behind the focus region and in front of it, and knowing what they represent and discussed whether a user can get used to it. You'll see it with touch focus, touch tracking, and manually rotating the focus ring. You'll see me test the feature at aperture from wide open to medium aperture to very small aperture. Test it at short focal length or wide angle of view, and test it at long focal length or narrow angle of view. Test it in both focus methods, manual and auto. Test subject movements and see what happens, and more. Let's begin. First, I would mainly use this focus map feature outdoor. So go and set the monitor brightness to sunny weather to see well, or you could always manually adjust it. Next, set up the focus map feature. There are two ways. One, hit the purple AFMF video tab and focus assistant group, then focus map item. Select on. There's another way. Make sure the mode dial is tuned to movie recording mode. Oh yeah, turn it on. Press function button to see the function menu. You should see focus map already there if you haven't messed with it. And make sure it's set to on. Before moving on, showing a bunch of demos and examples, I want to mention a couple of useful things. First, you can see the focus mapping in the viewfinder. And also, if you hook up your camera to an external monitor or TV, focus map could also be outputted there. Let's talk about what you see in focus map. According to Sony support page, areas behind the in-focus region are in this cool color range from dark blue to light blue. The range that is in focus is here, no colors area in front of the in-focus region are in this warm color range from yellow to red, meaning the darker the red, the more the object is in the very front of the subject in focus. Then getting to the darker the blue, the more the object is behind the subject in focus or the very back of it. Basically, here's something in the very front, here's something close to the front, here's what's in focus, and here's something close to the back, Here's something in the very back. Think of it this way. Each shade of color is one layer and there's a bunch of layers in front of each other with an in-focus layer somewhere in there in between. Could be in the front, somewhere in between, or in the back. Here's an example image. The car dashboard is in the very front, dark red. The toy van is in focus, no colors. The white vehicle is in the very back, dark blue. Now I'd like to show you a bunch of demos and examples and talk about them. Along the way, hopefully you'll get used to this focus map feature. With basic understanding of aperture, a larger aperture like f1.8 produces shallow depth of field, separating the subject in focus from the background. So with focus mapping, you get to see all the shades of cool and warm colors. However, a small aperture like f22 produces small amount of background blur joining the subject in focus and the background. So with focus mapping, you don't get to see all the shades of cool and warm colors. But with a subject up close, you could still get some warmer colors. What if I go for f2.8 with a 75mm focal length and with some movements? Where is the in-focus or no color region? This really depends. It's up to how fast your lens can focus and even minimal focus distance, and how fast is the moving subject.
Let's go back to the toy van example. As I touch focus the white vehicle in the back, it's slow focusing because I could have set the autofocus transition speed to fast, but I didn't. You could see the orange and yellow regions. They are in the front of the region in focus. The rest of the video are just sample clips at different f-stops. I made this video for myself to see how useful the focus map feature could be and to share it. For video, I find it very useful for outdoor with manual focus viewing on the LCD screen. And now I have gotten used to it and all the colors and everything. I hope you find this video interesting and informative. Enjoy the rest and thank you for watching. And do come back.